how to brew dry wasteland natural 4c without heat damage hello it's your girl fine here welcome in today's video i'm going to show you how to properly blow out 4c hair without causing heat damage heat resume detail how to safely brew dry thick dense 4c natural hair straight hello welcome if it's your first time here please like subscribe comment and if you are my returning subscriber thank you for tuning back in so in today's video i'm going to use revon one step bro dryer and right in the middle is where you have turn on or off so the next step my first step is to get a bro dryer then the second step is to section the hair into small so i can easily bro dry the hair without causing heat damage okay after that i'm going to start bro drying second step is to start bro drying from the tip of the hair after bro drying the tip then i will walk through the middle of the hair and i go very gentle slow without putting the heat directly on her scalp so i continue bro drying then after the middle my next will be to bro dry her scalp i'm going to bro dry it again if you're a low porosity your hair need heat if you are not a low porosity you really don't need heat and you can do the natural way of bro drying without using heat but for especially for those with low porosity using heat comes in great for you so you see as i'm bro drying it and giving her scalp like a good inch space before i apply the heat i'm not going directly on her scalp i place the brush bro dryer with my hand holding it so i do not burn her scalp because when you burn her burn your scalp or burn someone's scalp the head right there is going to start thinning you see how i'm doing it you see don't put it directly on the scalp so i just give it a little space and i blow dry see her hair is straight you can really see that her hair is a waste length no breakage see how I just run my hand through it you don't see any hair breaking out her hair is nice this is a good way for you to blow dry your hair without breakage no heat again your hair is going to shred but if you put excess heat on it that is going to damage your hair and you do not want that so the same concept i continue using my hand see easy yep breezy <laughs> yep <laughs> please like you see her hair is west length yep i'm doing west length it wasn't a clip bit it was actual west length so yep so i continue the next step blow drying starting from the tip i have a video that i show you step by step how to detangle wash without pen especially for kids again adult can also do this method <laughs> yes yeah so adult can do it is easy you save yourself time you save energy and it's easy your family is easy so please like this video give this video a thumbs up share with friends and family sharing is caring sharing is caring <laughs> okay so you see how smooth and nice her hair is now also when you're bro drying hair you want to put a heat protector heat protectant what is that that can either be oil or even when you go on beauty supply they do actually have what is called heat protectant you spray it on the hair then you start but her hair i had already detangled it 
which I do have a video I'm going to post up on my right side. Here I show you the step to step. I saturate her hair with a lot of leave-in conditioner. Then I add the oil. Then I'm able to blow dry. Comment and let me know if I get a lot of thumbs up. I'm going to do the next to show you how to braid without causing damage, no excess tension on the scalp. And how you can also do it, how you can grow your hair, easy process of what you can be doing so that you don't put too much tension, tension, tension. <laughs> okay, so you don't put too much tension on your hair and you can easily get your hair in a braid or get it in a protective style and still grow your hair healthy, shiny, fuller, soft. You see how easy it is. I know it makes life so much easy, right? <laughs> yeah. So yes, this is how to blow dry your waist length natural 4C. You can do it on 4B. You can do it on any hair type. You can do it on coily hair. This method work very nice on any hair type. So thank you. Thank you so much. And I'm going to also do another video how I show you how I braid her hair. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what other video would you like me to do. Comment in the comment section and let me know and what, you, what video you would like me to do next. What would you like me to upload? I'll be happy to do it by the grace of God. Okay, so this is, you see how easy I can session her hair, I can braid her hair without putting a lot of tension on her hair. So, thank you, thank you, and please like, share. I'm going to see you in my next video. Is your girl fine hair? It gets better and better and better. I'm better. Thanks.